Hey, it's Ractor, and I am back playing Super Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I am about to do something that it didn't even occur to me before that I could do, and that is I'm going to try to use Luigi's special power to do something to this thing. I was here a long time ago, and I realized that this device existed here. I guess that's it. That's all you get is a coin. But I remembered, and then I realized that at that point in the game, I wasn't really familiar with the mechanic that allowed you to do the whole water filling thing. And so I was like, well, I don't understand this mechanic, so here we go, though. This guy has been in my way for a long time. I don't know if he's going to... Yeah, he says don't hit him. Um, wait. It doesn't give me the option to hit him. I'm so confused right now. I suppose my video game intuition didn't serve me as well as I thought. I thought that... Being a guy who's played video games before, I thought I was going to the most rational n nearest zone, but as it turns out, I suppose I wasn't going to the most rational nearest zone, because it it turns out that, that Koopa can't get hit over by me, so... I came back here, and I actually had to look it up on- I feel really stupid. If I just looked around a little bit, I probably would not have had to look that up online, but my problem was, the reason I looked it up was because I thought that maybe I was just hitting the statue wrong, or I was hitting the Koopa wrong? If you know what I mean, like I was, in my mind, I was like, maybe what I need to do, there's like this certain really specific way that you have to hit the Koopa, and if you don't hit the Koopa correctly, then you'll be fucked, and so I what I did what I went online for was actually just so I could check to see if I was hitting the Koopa wrong, and it so as it so turns out, I was hitting the Koopa very right, because the correct way to hit the Koopa is actually to talk to him. And so yeah, I felt really stupid. I try really hard, I try extremely hard to not look stuff up, especially during my playthroughs, because I am the kind of, I'm the kind of person where I, gen I genuinely tend to feel more satisfied with my video gaming experiences when I've done everything on my own. Um, there are there are some games that I actually look a lot of stuff up in. Like I'll say that when I'm playing like Dark Souls games, I tend to look a myriad of shit up because there's so much going on. You know, it's that was a fair games in my opinion to be looking stuff up during because there's just a ton of shit going on all the time. And so, you know, I always try very hard to not look up stuff. Ooh, but there's something going on here. We gotta talk to the elderly man. But yeah, enough about that shit. Enough about how stupid I feel and all that, whatever. But I thought that I had my correct idea in mind that, that Koopa's like, nothing you hit me with is gonna do whatever. But, yeah, whatever. Whatever. It doesn't even matter anymore. It's all over. The jewels jumping. We get to jump for jewels is basically a mini game, and I wonder if he asks for money. Nope, it's a free mini game. Oh, but you have to, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, Mario controls the light, so I can, and then Luigi jumps. Am I okay? So I'm supposed to get things. Okay, cool. Oh shit, I jumped. Oh god damn, this is gonna be ridiculous. All right, so basically though. I can use Mario to know in advance if things are- Damn it! I jumped over! This is gonna be- I'm gonna do so badly at this. Alright. Ooh! God damn it! I don't even know- Oh, those are batteries! So you have to collect the batteries or Mario's flashlight will go out. Shit! I'm finally under- Oh! God damn! God damn it! I'm gonna run out of battery! Please let me collect this battery! Oh, the batteries! This is so hard! I know that you probably don't think that this is hard, but oh, it just occurred to me, this is the weirdest shit, this is the weirdest fucking minigame ever. I can't tell if jewels are on Mario's track, okay, so I didn't even realize, some of the ba the batteries can be on Mario's track, there we go, yeah, they're not necessarily on Luigi's track, but that one is, nope, that was on Mario's, god damn it, this is a ridiculous minigame, I'm so sorry. Okay, and I can't go any further unless I I did a horrible job. I need ten I need ten jewels to go further and I fucked up. I'm not gonna show that again, but I am gonna do it again 
to see what happens. You looking to ride again? Absolutely. Damn it. This is so hard. It's harder than you think, I swear. So I realized something silly that I didn't even notice while I was redoing that. The red gems are always on Mario's track, and the green gems are always on Luigi's track. Once again, this episode, I guess, is all about me feeling stupid because it, like, makes perfect sense. Well, fellas, this spot marks the last spot in long, strange railroad ride of my life, but I reckon this guy's about to die. Right now, he's about to kill himself. What's back here? Oh, nothing. That's a fence. For some reason, I thought that was like a platform that you could walk out on. Goddamn, yeah. As I was redoing that minigame on the second time around, I had the very foolish realization that I could totally straight totes my goats. I was able to see whose, whose track was whose because Mario's gems were, of course, always red, and Luigi's gems were always green, and the sizes were different, but the j the color is way more obvious. Goddamn, I still love Mario and Luigi's passport picture. I am so glad that I did not take that gentleman's advice at the original time when we were making the passport, and that dude was like, Don't do the thing, we never thought how you use your hammers- Oh, I know how to use my- I wonder if I say no if they're gonna make me. Ouch, try being polite, will you? Ready to learn- no. Ouch! Tri well, I'm gonna cut this tutorial out. So yeah, as I... Those guys, I cut out some of the text there. They're now going back, they're saying that they're gonna ride the cart again because they want it to go on the fun ride. But as I stated, it is the true fact... Okay, so we need a better hammer to hit those blocks. So yeah, um, in combat, hammers basically function the same way as your other attack, but what they do is they work better for spiked enemies, so if a spiked enemy is attacking you, you want to- Crap. Crap, I fucked that up so badly. So yeah, when you're fighting a spiked enemy, a hammer attack will be better because you won't jump on it and get hurt. They haven't introduced spiked enemies yet in the game, obviously, because I didn't have a hammer, and I assume that they probably thought it wasn't a good idea to be- Oh. Oh. Yeah, so, I assume the reason they did that is because they wanted to introduce the idea Oh, so I have to move this somehow while not facing it. Crap. I actually assume that probably has something to do with the move because there's a bridge there, so maybe this is something that I'll end up unlocking later on because I have no idea how I would ever go about doing anything with that at the current point in time. But yeah, so hammers are hammers. That's what they are. And, oh, okay, I'm going... I was like, and I was about to cut away because I thought I was going in the wrong direction, but it turns out that I'm actually going in the completely right direction. Although... Can I just... Okay, cool, I can just fall off that and I don't need to do anything so... Oh, but if you... Go across there... Oh my gosh. I'm missing all the good things in life. Oh no. Now I'm stuck here forever unless I can make this jump. Oh, I totally can. I don't know why they would randomly... By the way, they are just gearing me up right now. I don't know if there's a battle coming or... If there's just like a big long portion of the game with a lot of fights ahead. Oh! This takes you back to the Now I have to ride the minecart again. Well, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, okay, you have to get 15 on your second time run. By the way, this minigame changes um, as you go. Oh, shit! Apparently, if I beat level 2, shit changes up, so yeah. And on the second time around, there's bats, and you have to scare the bats away with the flashlight. And if you don't scare the bats away with the flashlight, Luigi gets hit and then can't collect gems for a certain period of time. And also, yeah, that's pretty much... It just shit changes up. I think that's interesting, I didn't even realize that... I suppose that's how mini games are, though, is... Once you've done them once, they change. But I feel that now that I'm heading off to a new zone with... Very playful and fun music, it'd be a good time to end this episode right here. Hopefully in the next episode, I will be kicking some ass in this zone. This has been Raktar, thank you for watching.